now. She's wearing a microphone out there in left field. Hey, Jenny, thanks for joining us. Of course. Hey, what's it like playing with Haley McClenny? I know you know her from the <laughs> national team. Talk about her as a defensive center fielder. Oh, uh, do you have a long time? <laughs> <laughs> She's probably, oh, my favorite player to watch and to be teammates with. Just, she does stuff that other people don't, and she's a phenomenal person, so you can't get much better than that. Just curious, nuts and bolts. Uh, seems to be a ton of wind out there. What's it like uh, <laughs> when you're actually physically in left field? Yeah, um, I've played with wind before, but there's like extra flags, so it's just really making a statement how much wind there is out here. But, you know, Gwen's ball got up in the air, and it. Looked like it was going to be right to me, and then it just kept carrying all the way to the fence. So, just got to stay with it, stay calm. Number one rule, don't panic. Janie, I, you guys by far have the most um, women on the national team in this Athletes Unlimited. Just talk about how that's going to help you guys preparing for the 2021 Olympics that you all get to, you know, have this experience, sometimes play on the same team, and sometimes play against each other. Yeah, I think... Um, you know, it's all beneficial for us. I think it's good to play with different people. I think it's good to play with each other. Um, I think that the athletes here are pushing us, um, and I know we're all super grateful that we even got to step on a softball field this summer, so. <laughs> DJ, D oh, ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was playing really deep. No, I said DJ, DJ. Okay, sorry. sorry, my bad. Dang it. Yeah, Janie, it's kind of weird playing with different players every single week and communication, I'd imagine, be a really big deal. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I thought DJ first set, too. So you can call my name on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just saw an example of that. <laughs> I've been playing behind Delaney Spalding for the last six years of my life. So it's good. It's good. You just you learn new stuff and um, it's just good experience. You were a captain last weekend. Do you prefer being a captain and the pressures that that has or do you like not having to deal with that? Um, it was an honor, honestly, and a, it really was a privilege to be a captain, but I do enjoy just kind of being in left field <laughs> and in the middle of the lineup and just doing my thing. So. Since we have you, might as well ask, you're going to play in the, uh, the national team uh, again, and you have for years in the past with the woman at the plate right now, Kelsey Stewart. Tell us a little bit about Kelsey as a teammate and as a player. Kelsey is ruthless. Um, like, I, on my last at-bat, I squared around a bunch, and she yelled something at me like she was all up in my grill. Like, that's just how she plays, and so that's kind of a little bit opposite of me. Um, so she's always inspired me with her grit, um, and she just keeps going, so... Love playing with her. I remember playing against her in college and just being like, who is this girl? She's just on all the time and making crazy defensive plays. And Jeannie, I mean, this is the last weekend of this Athletes Unlimited. So cool you, you were a part of the inaugural season. What has been a couple highlights for you throughout these last four weeks that you've loved and enjoyed? Um, I've really honestly been so impressed with this whole league. Like, I just want to say thank you to John and Jonathan and everyone at Athletes Unlimited for the whole experience. It's so professionally um, well done. Um, for me personally, I think I love playing with different people. Like, that's one of my favorite things. And I love um, just even the draft process. Like, it's so different than anything we know. And it's just good for us, I think, to be like, you know what? If I don't have a good, if I don't have a good week, probably not going to be drafted high, and that's okay. You know, I just come out the next week um, and do my job and and raise my draft stock a little bit. I think we're in this sport as women. A lot of times, I think we're just striving, you know, so much. And I think it's good to just be realistic with where we're at week to week and just let that motivate us to get better. I love that so much. Yeah, Janie, thank you for the time. Obviously, this game's getting a little bit uh, hairy. Uh, but thank you for your time. And well said, it's been a joy watching you for the first five weeks. And uh, you have so much softball to look forward to in the years to come. So thank you for spending time with us. Thank you. I appreciate that.